Ebusi afo asem kesi ebi esi ewa mwa yon kongro gana mwa yon ma enye asem ketua. Nipa anke adwen sa anko nidi anka asem enfano mwa da anan. Nipa anke adwen sa anko nidi anka asem mwa di ebi ento nida ene asem atuna enye asem ketua. Ebusi afo nipa mwa beka nwa asem mi eye Office of the Special Prosecutor. Eye din eye fra e krano aye refreno eye se owra kisi e jabeni. Ne wusi afo wabu to ebi ase asem kesi ebi ebe dan e nan so Ada wusi anko defa procurement ode mu nanka Oti mi e di asem no ma asem no ye fan 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 Se se niye we di a ye anas arom yaw anas yase mi yama e ne Kot e buwa no so oko en kwa kwa da e ye e fiasi E wusi afo asem fo frobi sa abe to ane nan so ne ne Pape yi e tina asem yi so na di enti o tina asem yi so ni nane se Secret yi abe to abonti an secret yi ni nane se Oji e ye se ka poli poli 600,000 US dollars E di fi wawan wa ye e ye ni ma bo ni e kwa nom ti O ti mi kata asem yi so a nye asem keto Nan so o do fo bi a wa gana ma emu hano ma no so da gana ye pa E so e ti mi e di asem no e pi O di yon no adrope Me sa o se bako ti e o di yon ni wea ya fi video no but I sat there that day and I heard Barack Obama clearly. The guy sitting by me, next next sitting to me, I think it was Professor Kofi Amor or so. So we looked at each other and then one of us, I don't know I whispered to what he whispered to me that the Rollins here, that Rollins was sitting in front of us. But this is the this is the point. Barack Obama came here in 2009, how many years ago? And he told us that Africa, you're building a democracy, keep it like that. You don't need strong men, we need strong institutions. So the institution of the judiciary have been doing their work. The judiciary is one of the most important institutions that have made our democracy survive. Since they started their rulings in 1992-93, the 31st December case, MPP versus IGP, MPP versus GBC, the right to demonstrate, all of those epochal establishments that the Ghanaian judiciary has given to us as part of this constitutional match, he said that he wants to derail that. That only him, he is not part of that. He cannot be under the judiciary. He is above the judiciary because he's a special prosecutor. Really? He's above the judiciary? When he does something, the judiciary actually comments on it. My disappointment is with the media who sat there watching him spew out this hogwash to them without even looking at their constitution, the basic constitution, to tell him that, Mr. OSP, Article 125 says this, what is your problem? They couldn't even ask that question. They were listening to him spew out the hogwash that this is a dangerous commodity to Ghana's democracy. Dangerous commodity. He thinks that he's above the law. This is how they start. This is how all the coups started. This is how they start. They start talking about being above the law. This is so dangerous. This guy should be looked at. He is very, very dangerous. If any institution of state thinks that he is above the judiciary, the president doesn't think he's above the judiciary, the vice president doesn't think so, the speaker doesn't think so, this man, he thinks that when he does something, the judiciary shouldn't look at it. Really? Kisia Jabi, he's above the constitution? Kisia Jabi, he is above the 1992 constitution that people like Akutuan Power have fought for and died for? Kisia Jabi is above it? I, I, I was so disgusted when I heard this. A special prosecutor holds a press conference and says that the judiciary is coming after me. Play that tape where he talks about people told him something. Play it. I have had several calls from well-meaning lawyers admonishing me that they have heard talk that our friends who have been elevated to the bench and presiding over cases in court do not take very kindly to criticism especially of the public calling out variety, as we do. And that if the office persists in the media releases, the judges will gang up against the office and throw out all our cases. Mind you, members of the press, the collective admonition is from very senior and experienced lawyers who are men and women of the world. Collectively with the well-meaning lawyers who admonish me, we philosophize and wonder if our judges would do such a thing has gang up against the flagship public anti-corruption agency to scatter less work for whatever reason. Our musings run along the lines of would that not defeat the fight against corruption? Why, why is he talking without energy? He seems to be lacking energy. What's wrong with him? Is it that he doesn't believe me? Was he's lacking energy? So did the paper as if he's afraid of what he says. Is he lacking energy? He will lack more energy because he's dangerous to democracy. Did you hear him? He says that well-meaning people... Do you know what? Does he know what well-meaning people have told me? I'm going to tell you. Well-meaning people have told me, but I don't believe it, that Kisya Jabe collects money. I don't believe it. I don't think it is true. 
I don't know why they are saying that. But these are the allegations that what he does is that when there's a case, he collects money. He doesn't do it himself, as they say. I don't believe it. But that's what they are saying. And he should be addressing that before the media. The allegations, that is mountain, the allegations mountain upon the special prosecutor that when he picks a case to investigate, you can pay them and they'll give you a favorable report. I don't believe it. But this is what people are saying. He should be addressing those allegations, wild as they are. And I'm sure that is not true. But this is what people are saying about him. Has he heard it? He says that people are telling him that the judiciary have ganged up against him. We are hearing, people are telling us that what he does at the Office of Special Prosecutor is not to prosecute at all. It's just to select cases where he thinks that he can exploit the difficulties of the, of the, of the, of the accused persons so that he may take money. We don't believe that. We don't believe it. But that's what people are saying. That's what he should think about that. He should think about dealing with those allegations because in this work that we all are, the, the narrative is sometimes more important than the truth. Because when I heard it, I heard it as well. How is he going to take money? I mean, I, I don't believe. I know him. I don't believe it. But these are the things people are saying. I'm saying this to tell him that you don't come and do a press conference and say that people have told you something and you make it part of your press conference that people have told you that if you publish, the judges will gang up against you. And you tell people that in the press conference based on what people have told you. Do you know what people have told others that we haven't said? And I have heard this a long time. I didn't say it here. But because he has said what he has said, now I'm saying it and he should check it. And I, there are more details I can bring up. Because we don't believe it, we don't do the details. We don't believe it. We are not, we don't believe it. But this is what people are saying. They are saying that he collects money. He has a gang, not he himself. They, they've described the details to us. He has a cabal. Now, I think that Kisia Jabin should be asking the Attorney General to investigate these allegations so that he will come out clean. Because I believe he will come out clean. He should be telling, because if today there are allegations about, like that about the Director of Public Prosecutions, the Attorney General will be capable of investigating it. There are such allegations against the modus operandi of the Special Prosecutor, Kisia Jabin. The modus operandi of the Special Prosecutor, there are allegations about it being called into question. On very wild allegations, some of which I've told you. These allegations are unbelievable. But these are the allegations being spewed out against him. And then he comes from press conference and says, people, well-meaning people, the people who told us are well, well, well-meaning people. Some of them are priests, some of them are, are, are chiefs. They are worried about this allegation, about the special prosecutor. That he, and the money they are talking about is not 5,000 cities and 10,000 cities. It's not the one that we deal with every day here. It is thousands of dollars, six hundred thousand dollars. That's what they are asking for. The allegations. That's why we don't believe it. That's the reason. In fact, when you hear the figures, you will doubt it. But these are the things that people are saying that the guy is collecting money. Now, I'll come to I'll come to a few more things. Let's deal with it. Kisha Jabi. Let's deal with it. Which one is this? The high court case. Let's let's just look at the high. We'll finish. We'll finish soon. We'll be wrapping up. What else do we have? Oh, we have to wrap up. We have a lot more politics to share. In this ruling, the high court agreed. With the plaintiff. Is that the beginning? Okay. High court quashes OSP's uh, report implicating Kenel Damwa in the LaBianca case. It says, in this ruling, the high court agreed with the plaintiffs and found that the OSP had exceeded its authority in making the adverse findings. The court also granted an order for, of prohibition, restraining the OSP from further investigating Damwa and Che in connection with the LaBianca case. The lawyers for the plaintiffs, Bob Sanya, welcome. Da, 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 da. Okay. The court awarded 10,000 cities to him. Now here, it says that the high court agreed.